Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. More outro today and the moment you've finally been waiting for, a guide on the Demon Blade. If you're new to the game or have been playing it for a while, you've probably heard people say the Demon Blade is the way to go. We're going to be going over that in this video. Now the Demon Blade is the only weapon in the game currently that's both going to give the regular range attack, but also give the melee attack on top of it, and this is really what makes this weapon shine. The standard range attack is very slow in this, but by cancelling the animation, also known as stutter stopping, this weapon fires off very quickly. With how much damage this melee does do, you might want to just run up and start smashing, but this is not something you want to do. There is some strategy behind using this weapon. When paired with the spellbook Giant's Contract, when it does finally proc, this will make you nearly invincible and allow you to get in there and take those swings. And the reason behind that is when you get this book to rare, you're going to get the Stone Giant ability, which is going to have defense increase greatly. And if you want to see these stats yourself, just head over to Tiger Shark's Discord. I'm going to have it linked in the description. So even though I only have my Demon Blade at Epic right now, it feels more powerful than my Mythic Bow. Yes, I said that right. My Epic feels more powerful than my Mythic. And here's the stats of them right here. Right off the bat, this weapon is going to be immune to front collision damage and melee attacks. Once you get to great, when hit points are low, killing enemies in melee can recover hit points. At rare, you're going to get the attack plus 5%, and then epic, the higher the enemy's HP, the more damage dealt. And luckily for us, pro player Nally was able to share a screenshot of their ALE, which will show us all the stats even at mythic. So at perfect epic, lost hit points will increase your crit rate damage, and then at legendary, when you're moving, your dodge rate will slightly be increased. And if you're lucky enough like Coco Bloco here, if you get it to mythic, taking damage is going to increase the crit chance temporarily. With that out of the way, I now want you to focus more on the swing of the actual Demon Blade itself. With the single arrow, you can see we're pretty much just hitting right in front of us. But throw a rear arrow in there, and now we're nearly completing the circle. And we're landing two hits. With side arrow, we're going to be getting a full circle, and we're going to be landing three hits. So if you think about it, side arrows to the Demon Blade is what the diagonal arrows is to the staff. And just like the staff, front arrows is something you're going to want to stay away from because it will reduce the damage of all of your arrows. But Multi-Shot and Phantom Sword are some good abilities to grab on top of it. But what about Diagonal Arrows? I didn't mention those yet. Well, it is good because you are going to get the extra damage from the arrows, but it is going to provide some sort of knockback on it. So just know that you're going to need to constantly dig into the enemy to keep making those swings. One thing you do want to avoid in this is getting too much attack speed. I believe it's around 45%, but once you get too much attack speed, the game will automatically just go and shoot the projectile versus making the swing. So something to be cautious of because you want to really make sure you're getting those melee hits. Invincibility Star is another good one or even any ability that's going to give you some sort of dodge chance increased. And as far as other gear, I like to use the Phantom Cloak because when I do take a hit, I have that chance to freeze, which allows me to get a couple extra hits off. And as far as I'm on Chapter 21, you'd think I'd be using two Lion Rings, but I actually am using a Bull Ring for that damage resistance buff. When this weapon first came out, it also came with the Hero Shingen, and a lot of people thought the two were going to go together in perfect harmony, but unfortunately with Shingen's ability, it doesn't really seem to be that way. Most people using this weapon are using Guju, Shade, Lina, or even Helix. So I would say try out the ones that you do have and see which one feels the most comfortable for you. But guys, this is all I have for the Demon Blade itself. If you consider yourself a Demon Blade expert, post something down in the comments of a tip or trick or what you like to do so we can share it with everybody else. Other than that, we're posting three times a week. Again, we're all in on Artro. So don't forget, like, subscribe, and remember, I pick my butt.